Welcome to game three of this Brain vs. Def Jam series. And down here in the bottom left position playing the Blue Terran, who is up 2-0, is a Freaka TV Brain. And up here in the middle left position playing the Orange Protoss is Pro Def Jams, down 0-2. And hasn't really been able to have a chance to win past about the 10 minute mark so far. So now that he's Protoss and close to his opponent, I'm excited to see what Def Jam can do. Yeah, let's see if um No, this was uh a, a pretty much a rematch of uh game one, really. I mean Jeff Shane was Port Austin, Brain was Terran. Uh bases have changed. But uh Yeah, the, um yeah the the bases have changed, but it's not the same because Brain was Protoss in that game. Def Jam is oh, this, yeah. this yeah, is the yeah, first yeah. time that Def Jam is Protoss. That's right, yeah, the the take lunch. Um, and he's actually not going for the mid build. I know the last time I was playing one versus one in league, it was dominated by Protoss mid building every game. Well, that's what happens when you get old and you leave. <laughs> oh, fast <laughs> expansion. Yeah, so uh, the both players electing to go for the plus one build, even though they're in a mid base. So we're going to be, you know, Def Jam is hoping to. You know, develop that mid-game advantage and have that economic lead. So if Brain is not able to punish him, this could be a good opportunity for Jeff Dam mm -hmm. to just sneak in a win. Yep, that is definitely correct. Three racks. I. Uh, that looks like it. Is that the standard now? Is three racks into gas? If three racks Econ or three racks academy has always been one of the staple builds. There used to be some people that would go for a two racks. Um, but I, I think three racks has always been the more popular version for Terran. Oh, yeah, Basil used to go two racks a lot. That's right. Yeah, Basil. Is well, hard he he would flip Hardy. it, of course. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, Pearl Hardy. Um, I guess he wouldn't always do it, but he would do it quite often. I, I like three racks. It gives you a little more flexibility. Looks like the academy is still nowhere to be found. Uh, Forge yeah. complete. Yeah, he's Def Jam's kind of doing the exact same build that Brain did when he was Protoss. His choke's a little further out. Yeah, just a tad. Uh, these Marines are about to find out why they hate Photon Cannons. Right about now. Right now. He does have time to hurt that thing, but the Zealots are going to come up here and yeah. say no to that. Yep, the Zelots say, uh-uh, girlfriend. <laughs> Good job. Brain says, no, we don't want none of that beef. My friends are here from Facebook. Maybe we do want it. <laughs> no, they don't. They're going to back out. It looks like Def Jam will be safe for a little while. Oh, yeah, I mean, a, a three-cannon choke in a straight line like that for a Protoss, it, it would take an exorbitant amount of Marines to break this. Yes, for sure. I think, it, I think uh, it's overkill. I think the one or two cannons would have been plenty and he could have saved that 150 minerals for something else. Well, he thinks different and that's what he went with. Now it looks like brain is going to be oh. floating into the base to build yeah. a stim fire bat. And it's extremely important when you're facing Terran to keep an eye out of your entire base because they can do stuff like this. And if he's able to get this fire bat built, it could be GG, honestly. This is very bad. Stim is about to be complete. Barracks is landing. Firebat's being researched. Look at look at the timing on that. That Stim's gonna finish like right when the Firebat finishes. That's pretty sexy. Oh, this is very scary. Very scary. Death Jam's about to get woke. Now does he wait for two? I think he's gonna No, he's just gonna go. He's just gonna reveal it and go. And he doesn't have any cannons or any units. He, this is gonna be brutal. He needs to move. There's... He needs no. No. Ooh. Oh. Lit response from Death Jam. Block. Build anything you can. Block the crap out of that building. Yeah, that, oh, that was go. really good by Death Jam. What a block. That was awesome by Death Jam. That was very nice. He built two uh, Citadels of a Dune, and I think it was to help block. Oh, this fire bat, he's not done. He's going all the way around. Oh, no. 
Yeah, that was still very, a very successful barracks float. He's already killed like 10 workers. Yep. Oh no. Cannon's done. If Def Jam can stop this wound real fast, he should be fine. Uh, tanks will be in play very soon. Factory almost finished. Yeah, um, Def Jam needs to do some economic damage or he's probably going to lose because the Terran has a triple command center up before the Protoss has a triple nexus. And if anything, the Protoss is supposed to be ahead of the Terran in that regard. So if Def Jam can't do economic damage before this Terran gets rolling, it's going to be extremely tough to crack him in the mm -hmm. corner. Yeah, you're not lying. And just like perfect timing is his nature. Brain has a turret down before these DTs can do anything. Yeah, that was just perfect. He knows yeah. that it's coming and... The only way, like, because he's thinking in his head, the only way I can lose is if something stupid happens to my economy. Mm hmm. And how many times have you thought that and still lost from it? Oh, I mean, I can't even count that high. Yep. Uh, it drives you nuts. <laughs> Those are the games that you just want to bang your head on the board and be like, okay, what the hell is I doing? I had it what? Uh, uh, no storm being researched. Uh, robotics facility almost halfway finished. Siege coming in. I hear something loading up. No. Oh, that was a bunker. Yeah. Yeah, those oh. sounds are pretty alike, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I heard a dropship. Oh, wait, that was a bunker. Dragoon. Templar. Uh, may maybe he already researched Storm. Am I wrong, Brad? Uh, does he... Yes, yeah, I... Templar. He's got to have researched Storm by now. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't catch that. Robotics Bay, halfway to finishing. Oh my gosh, I see drops in the race. He's doing a reverse Protoss Terran build right here. Yeah, the double tank drop is is a good play because you can get in there and one shot the probes. Uh, it looks like he might go all the way around and just uh, be happy with. Wow, what a great scan! Wow, what a great play by Brain. He is on all feet. I yeah. I, he's going to go ahead and drop a buff from the north, it looks like. Uh, maybe just chip away at his nexus. Yeah, or usually is it it's... called Nexi? <laughs> usually it's good to come in from a little bit of an angle with your first drop. But is he going to put this above the base or in the base? That's why I assume it's above the base. Just take the advantage. He hasn't contained. He doesn't need to get greedy. There's the drop. Outside of the base, yep. He might itch. No, it doesn't even need to inch that shuttle. I'm sorry, drop ship any further to get vision. A uh, great counterplay by Death Jam. DT, two zealots. That should make him force to O and pick up. Man, Brain just says no. I don't think so. Forces him to use a scan. Yeah, he's going a lot of raids. I know. That's crazy. It's so weird. Uh, Cloak. Uh, that is interesting. If he goes on a pick, if he goes on a Nexus, a <laughs> Nexus pick with race, <laughs> he's going to be my new hero. Look, he has the supply depot in the front of his base. He really is, I think, going to try that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Def Jam's looking to protect his Nexus, or Nexi. He knows it's very important. Uh, upgrades finishing for Protoss. So a lot to take peel cover while the storms come in. Great storm. Uh, focus to tank. There he goes. And contained. Yeah, good job by Def Jam clearing that all out. This I can't is... believe this. 
The supplies are very even. Def Jam with a little bit more bank. He needs to add a lot more infrastructure on, and he, he needed to find a way to damage the economy of Bream, but he was kind of always behind because of those fire bats in his base early in the game. I'm kind of shocked that that happened to Death Jam. Yeah, especially with a Terran right next to you, usually um, I'm sure he would know to, to scout his whole base. Yeah, he he plays so tight. Uh, like, for that last series, I mean, I don't really know him or anything. I played against him in two, but one time or a couple times. But he's he's a guy that can beat me if he gave me vision and didn't <laughs> have vision of me. I really do. I mean, he is that caliber of a player. He looks like he's trying to regain mid. This is actually pretty important. Uh, Protoss doesn't want him to have this, of course. Uh, I do like Death Jam getting ready to start his flanking base. Oh no, big play coming in right now. Death Jam is really gonna, looking forward to contest this. Look at the spider mines. Oh no. You don't see oh, very no. many. You don't see very many fastest players get spider mines. No. Look how ineffective Storm is to tanks. It's almost comical. But uh, Def Jam did almost broke through that whole phase there with that little push, but he has to save up for another one. Uh, Science Vessel there. Uh, he does have enough for EMP, so Archons actually would be a pretty good play here. But it uh, looks like that's not going to happen. Uh oh. Man, he needed to go carriers. How good would that be? But I guess he got the rates prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, he had a race. That would have been actually really bad. <laughs> oh, and the Goliath? He's merciful. He just has no mercy. The Def Jam actually has a lot of supply. He needs to gather it all up. Yeah, he does. Huh. Uh, Death Jam had, I'm sorry, Brain has his race just chilling too in the middle of his base. Uh, I think that's by design. Uh, that, that'd be about the, the way Death Jam would drop on a psychological realm. So if he did, these race would intercept very well. Uh, Brain is pushing in. He's actually starting to break the base of Death Jam. Yeah, those race will be able to burst down any shuttles and Corsairs that are trying to come in for drops. Um, Def Jam's going to have to do something because Terran can, over time, just squeeze you and squeeze you. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like he was trying to start his, his uh, counter base, and he's doing it right now to the mid-right, but uh, he doesn't have that much time. Brad, I think you're absolutely right, though, is uh, gathering his units. He has a max, and it just looks like he has nothing. Well, he's got a lot of supply wrapped up in these drops that aren't doing anything. So, mm -hmm. like, these Corsairs, Shuttles, and High Templars. So his, his actual fighting standing army is relatively small. I, I think Death Jam, Disrupto Web really would have helped play a part in this. I mean, they counter tanks so crazy well. He is pushing his base. He's getting established. This is not looking good for our buddy Dev Champ. Look at these rates. <laughs> oh, he did get the Templar down. Yep. SCDs but... didn't fall. Ooh, he does get a bunch there with the second one. I think it's a little bit too little too late, though. I mean... The Terran has hunkered down in his base with all these mines and vultures and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if, if Def Jam could gain part of his base back, he would be looking actually pretty good. With that drop. And look, Brain is getting depleted in uh, mineral resources. Yeah, Brain is very broke, but it's only going to take about a minute and a half to have his economy back because he has those three command yes. centers. Yeah, then once these buildings start going down, 
Yeah, that's these, when it's no these, good. These wraiths just get free damage all day because there's no dragoons or anything. No, and he can't get dragoons. He can't afford it. Tanks are just gonna wreck it. Yep, yeah, this is not good. He's getting close to his mineral line. Uh, Def Jam did. Or he knew he was gonna have to get this counter base going on to help squeeze and collapse his Terran army. It's just like he's been a step behind almost every single game. Well, the common theme of all three games was Brain did something to get an economic advantage, like, almost every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't see uh, Death Champ staying in this much longer. No, once the Terran's building missile turrets in your base, that's, like, just, you know... <laughs> when Nothing. a turn has wraiths in your base, that's just, <laughs> that's the GG moment. Wow, what great play, though. There's a lot to be learned from the, this series, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, Def Jam's a great player, and, and Brain winning 3-0 just shows how, you know, why he has that record that he has. I mean, he's just a, a very, very solid player, so I'm excited to, you know, cast some more games of his maybe in the future. Yeah, that, I mean, this has been pretty enjoyable. Glad to stop in on it and check out the hype. <laughs> GG. Alrighty, that was the series. A 3 0 for a Freaky TV brain versus Def Jam. So, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Peace.